Previously on Kingdom Come Deliverance. We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Ah! This peasant insulted me. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? I had planned to go hunting. You can take Henry here as your page. Him? It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Just avoid getting in my way and collect what I shoot. Boar is hunted with spears. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you try to tell me I can't kill a boar with an arrow, you can- Yeah! Yeah! It's Lord Capon! If it wasn't for you, Hans would be dead. But to think I sent you out with him as a punishment. A stable boy came from Neuhof. He says brigands raided the stud farm this morning. Who did this? Who are they? The stable boy just kept babbling about some huge fellow in black armor who led the attack. He said the bandits murdered for the joy of it. Bring me their heads! Yes, sir. Their leader, he must be the one who attacked me at Scarlet's. Hello folks, Sleepless Night, back again, Kingdom Come Deliverance episode, whatever it is, I don't know, I've completely lost track. So, if you remember from the last time, um, Hans Capon and I went hunting, uh, you know, we had a hare hunting competition, I saved his life, you know, usual day, and now we're sort of, far from being enemies, we seem to be sort of genuine... BFFs now, so let's. Um, ooh, I'm overloaded. That's a pain because I'm supposed to meet what's his face in the courtyard. Uh, oh, I suppose I've got a horse. I've got a horse. Right, okay. So, after what happened last time, one of the things I do have here, look, is for the first time since I started playing this game, I have got. Well, I wouldn't say a substantial amount, but a fair amount of reasonably sort of decent uh, loot for the first time in a while um, so you know one of these days I'm actually gonna have to find out ah I see right yes 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 okay now see these are the things I've been trying to figure out on here so I've got a villagers ash bow right now, if you look at the stats here, I'll make that disappear and then reappear so that you can see. It says, it's an ordinary bow, right? And I thought, ooh, I've got a cumin bow. Why is the range, if you look across to the right in the information underneath where Henry's standing there, why is the range of this weapon 7 when it's clearly a much, you know, it's a greater bow, it's a far superior bow to that one? But of course, I don't know if you've managed to figure these out, but the reason for that is that... If I go to the villager's ash bow here, and you look at the information there that I've just popped back up, it says minimum strength, minimum agility, two and one, right? So the reason that weapon, see over here, underneath where Henry's standing, it says range weapon 44. Okay. So, and the cumin bow, seven. 
And the reason is because it's minimum strength and minimum agility is two and one. And if you go over and look at my strength and agility, I've got four strength and three agility. Indicating, I assume, that I can pull, I can draw this bow. I have the strength and agility to use this bow. So it has a range of 44, right? But the cumin bow only has a range of seven and the numbers highlighted in red there, because if you look now at the information, which I'll flip off, and then back on again. It says minimum strength 10, minimum agility 6. So the reason the range of that weapon is so poor, I presume, is because at present I do not have the strength to draw that bow and aim it and fire it. So that's a problem, so we're going to have to sort that out. But, you know, a reasonable amount of, you know, just some weapony loot the knight's hunting sword I'm not sure whether I picked that up off the cumin that I killed in the forest possibly or whether I've just got this as part of my gear and the siax here the siax whatever it's called is the thing that I used to kill him and it's now got this little blood splatter symbol on the left there which is kind of weird I don't really know what that's all about but you know all those sort of numbers that we've got underneath uh, where Henry's standing there um, you know I need to sort of find out at some point what they all mean and here you know there's another bunch of sort of loot that I took off those guys um, but yeah I need to at some point dark foot wraps and soles visibility 56 noise 56 oh so blue highlights in the box under Henry there blue highlights that it's improved the stats so if I put these boots I've got foot wraps so I probably want to equip those instead of the what other stats are affected by that let's see Stab defense doesn't offer any stab defense. V conspicuousness, I presume that means. I'm guessing the reason it's in red at the moment is because I'm overloaded. I need to get rid of some of these things. I don't really know. But anyway, <coughs> at the moment. We've got to... Uh, go over here and oh, I should probably put that away <laughs> hello no what put the bloody arrow away you idiot Captain Bernard hello can we go are you ready yes I'm sorry about the hold up I was talking to the people watching this um e Oh, so I can actually say, not ready yet. Not yet. Well, why are you wasting time? We won't wait forever. Okay, will you wait at least until I've gone and flogged some of this gear? Because that, I think, would probably be quite helpful to me. What? Objective failed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think actually we probably want <laughs> to restart that. Shall we? The hunt begins. Start. <laughs> Three twenty-five. Both at the same time. Yeah. So we're gonna. <laughs> We're going to try that again. Let's change over the phone wraps. Because I thought that, you know, so many other games, you know, you've got Skyrim and, and uh, you know, Elder Scrolls games and, like, Fallout games and all those kind of things. The Witcher and stuff. You can you can go back whatever time you like. But apparently, if you don't do that in time with these guys, they just go without you. Which, of course, is realistic. Nobody's going to stand around all day waiting for you. Okay, let's go. Um, I need to put away the sword there. Put that weapon away. What are you playing at with that weapon? Get your heart, it up. 
There are certain aspects of the control system here that they really need to think through a bit more, I think. I could probably... So where's the... Where is he now? Captain What's-His-Face. There he is. <clears throat> okay, this time I'll say, yes, I'm ready to go with you, Captain Bernard. Can we go? Are you ready? I'm ready, Captain. Good. Then follow me. Keep quiet and do exactly as you're told. No? Okay. I don't know what Sir Radzig sees in you, and I don't care. If you're to ride with my men, I expect you to listen. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Against all better judgment, they've decided to give you your own horse. The dappled gray beside my stallion is yours. Make sure you take good care of him. Now, mount up and ride behind us. Why against all better judgment? I don't really understand. Pebbles? Oh, can I name... Can I give it my own name? I mean, come on. Pebbles? Really? Shit. Okay, so now I can move some of this stuff to the horse. So, see, and I can move that to the horse and the cumin tunic and old boots scarf um, green shirt covered in blood and completely destroyed move to horse move to horse um, I don't know if I should Oh, I don't have the agility necessary to wield that sword. <laughs> well, that's not good. Perhaps that's why I did better with the the other sword. I don't have the necessary agility to wield this one. So I put that cumin bow, you know, move that to the... And the bludgeon. Two bludgeons. That's one more bludgeon than anybody needs, in my opinion. Better hunting arrow. I've got, like... How many of those? Five poor quality arrows. Nineteen wounding arrows. Is that to sort of make people bleed out? Wounding arrows. Range weapon zero, fifty... I don't really understand all the stats on this yet. But. Knight's hunting sword. So, we probably give that to the horse because I can't actually wield it. Um, yes, that's the way to... Oh dear, I see. What am I... So I've got like a bunch of hair meat. 63 hair meat and 20 hair meat. That's an awful lot of hair meat. I didn't kill that many hairs, so I don't know how many it gives you per whatever, but I could do with eating some bread. Let's eat the bread. Get the nourishment up just a little bit. So I don't know what to do with that. I presume I cook it, but of course I'm in the middle of a quest now, so that's probably not going to happen. Um, I can move the spade to the horse, and the horse hide to the horse. And you know, but I'm not trying to like put it back on the horse or anything. I presume this is, judging by the fact that it looks relatively pretty, I'm presuming this is not the horse that the horse hide came off. I think we can drop those. I don't know what happens if you do that in front of people. I might get done for littering or something. Oh, I've got 52 groschen now. Okay. I think we're good to go. Let's follow the... Where are we following the men to? Look at that! You tell me I can't ride a horse, look at your bloke there.
I told you, if you just hold in the canter button there and let go of the stick, the horses, you know, they're not stupid. It'll follow the road on its own. <sighs> well, look at that, see? It manoeuvred its way around that thing. So, yeah, you hold the canter button, it'll just do its thing just fine. <clears throat> I'm guessing now that we're going out looking for other evidence of the guys that attacked us in the woods, so we must be going to more or less the same place. Duck! There we go. So, you know, this game's really getting going now. As RPGs go, you know, I do, I am mainly an RPG player. I don't usually play sort of pick up and bottom back down games. I'm. I'm an RPG player on the whole, you know, I'll play... You discovered an accident. <clears throat> you know, I'll play uh, pretty much anything that Bethesda put out, <clears throat> despite the buggy nature of their stuff. Um, but I think these people, Warhorse, you know, considering it's their first time making a video game, I think they've done a damn fine job here, really. There are some buggy aspects. The combat... It, yes, I appreciate that it's realistic and let's keep it that way, sure, uh, because I do like the sort of... It's a very steep learning curve, but the great thing about the combat is that, unlike a lot of other things in this game, is yes, it takes a long time to get there, but if you're a dedicated sort of RPG player, the payoff when you finally learn these things is is amazing. You know, the fact that you've had to work harder for it just makes the payoff when you actually get there. The thrill of actually finally learning how to do these things, or even starting to learn to do these things. It's like learning an instrument, you know? You learn to play the guitar or something like that, you just... As soon as you learn something new and you can make another step forward, it's, it's gratifying, but... But, you know, I like the realism, but the combat needs better feedback. You know, you, you still don't feel connected to your weapons, you don't, you know... And if we're talking about realism, you'd certainly get a lot of feedback from a big, damn heavy sword. Um, so that needs some work, I think. But, um, judging by what they've produced so far for their first video game ever, I'm quite confident in their ability to change it. So here we are, Neuhoff. What are we doing here? Ah, I see what we're doing here. Somebody spilt their apples and they need a cleaner. Nope. I fear it might be worse than just some spilled apples. Where's your master? In in the paddock. Ooh, what's going on in the Yeah, that doesn't look good, does it? Crucifix. What kind of beasts could do this? The blood of the martyrs. That's a really weird expletive, isn't it? Crucifix. What happened here? Why? Personally, I prefer holy crucifix. Someone came at night. Which is and pretty much what I would say if I came across this. I think the horses screaming Ow. must have woke poor Radek, the stable boy. And when he tried to stop them. <clears throat> And then my husband, when my husband tried to help them, they killed him too. And when they were done, they put a torch to the stables. That's great. My sincere condolences, ma'am. I swear we'll hunt those monsters down and make them pay for this. The horses were still alive when I came. We had to finish Easy them there, off. Henry. All of them. She's got the thousand yard stare eyes. going on there, look. They couldn't understand how anyone could do this to them. Did they steal anything? Any horses? 
Nothing. They wanted blood, not coin. Did your husband quarrel lately? Was there anyone who might want revenge? He argued over the price of a saddle, maybe, but nothing... Nothing that could drive a man to... this. These are dark days when there's more kindness in horses than in men. Did you see anything? How many were there? Or what did they look like? We saw no one. Has anyone tried to follow the trail? No. We were fighting the blaze until now, and even if we weren't, what chance would any of us have against someone who could do this? Well, we'll go after him. Sort him out. A pox on him. On up and quarter the area. We have to find out where they went. Easy there, Henry. Don't start getting flashbacks. And ask the folk if they saw anyone. Fuck. I Someone don't need to see the battle for scallops again. Yes, again. What about me, Captain? What the hell use are you? You stay here. Please, let me do something. I could have a look around the area and see if they left any tracks. Well, if you must. Just don't get in anyone's way. Don't go too far, and come back here when you're done. Okay. I think even I can handle that. <sighs> See, even the way they're doing this is quite nice. It's sort of building, slowly building this enemy up to be some sort of big evil horror in a much more... I think a much better way than most RPGs manage to do so that when you finally get the chance to take the mound down you feel the real kind of this hatred for them So I guess we're looking for tracks or something. What's my... Search the area. Scout the area. Question the survivors. Not necessarily in that order. Ooh. Oh, by the way, here's a little tip in case you haven't. I've learned from uh, one of the guys that you need to sort of. You can build your agility really fast by doing this. Ooh. You sort of jumped over it a bit there. Wow, wow. Okay. Uh, you can build your agility really fast by continually leaping over fences and things. Continually mantling walls and fences will up your agility. You, you might look ridiculous, in fact. <laughs> Captain Bernard doesn't have much faith in me anyway. God knows what he'd think if he sees me out here doing this. Wee! Please, sir, it's a serious business. Wee! What the devil is that boy doing? I told you he was a jelly brain. Send him back to Radzig. I couldn't find out what's going on really. <coughs> We're here to do a job. <laughs> See the pond. Dun dun dun. Another dead horse. Oh, that's the drinking water. Might just pond. It's still water. I guess they probably don't drink out of that, do they? We're well, certainly not going to want to now. Ginger. That's not very nice, is it? Fancy calling the only red guy we come across. Who's there? Ginger. Easy. I just came to ask. 
I don't know anything. Are you hurt? No, no, nothing. Not a scratch. Really? What really happened here? I don't know. Someone attacked. I, I don't know who. Really? You didn't happen to hear where they came from? No! I didn't see a thing. He seems like he's been threatened. Somehow. Either that or he's extraordinarily stupid. Okay, let's go question somebody else. And do our little detective -y business. How could anyone be so cruel? That's it. That's what you gain. That's what you got from your inspection. Such senseless brutality. They slaughtered horses as well as people, and yet it seems they didn't take anything. <clears throat> Who's this fella? Why did they have to kill you? Me? Oh, the horse. <clears throat> um. Yeah. I. Okay. That guy's a little bit too lost in grief over his horse. I don't really know what that says about him, but let's leave him to his grief. How could anyone be so cruel? Yeah, I think we've done that one, haven't we? How could anyone be so cruel? Yeah, there we go. Rose, see what they did here? Kill them! Find those horse sons and kill them! Well, you know, I, I'm working on it, but I kind of need some information, really. Mark. Yeah, Mark, you a blacksmith. <laughs> are you... Are you well? Does Leave me alone. Like it? Go away. Look, I know that it's difficult. But when I say talk, I don't expect to be ignored. No more, no more. Leave me alone, all of you. What? Come on, dude. You can do it. <laughs> are you... Are you well? Do we have to... Leave me alone. Repeat that? Go away. <clears throat> but there's no need to be afraid. With your help, I'll find those bastards and then I'll make them pay. They... They deserve hey, look it. at that. I succeeded what, at that. What do you need to know? What actually happened here? They... They killed the animals and... I can <laughs> why see Why did they kill them? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Did they take anything? No. <clears throat> Think carefully now. How did it all start? We... We heard the animals. Their shrieks. Then smell. He shouted. And they murdered him. You're certain it was the animals first, and then smell, not the other way round. I'm certain. I'd never heard a sound like that before. <laughs> now I'll never forget it. What happened after that? We ran outside, and it was chaos. Animals were dying, the stables were burning, and those demons everywhere. The stables were already burning. Didn't that happen after they fled? No. It was to set the blaze when they arrived. You said they were demons? No, just vermin. Worthless human vermin. How many of them were there? Not many. There were just a few that came after us, but more round the back. I heard them yelling at each other. In the back? Where? <clears throat> Towards the woods. To the north. They were trying to get away. 
Okay, guess we're going there then. So some of them were running away and the others were fighting. Aye, for a time. Then more of us came out and we fought back, so the others fled as well. Okay, this is just weird. Did you see a big man among them, dressed all in black? That cutthroat, that devil! I never want to see him uh, again. Big log. So he was here. Yes. What do they call him? Bloodthirsty Runt, beast. Right? Where? Where did they run to? To the north. Into the woods. Okay. So they were yelling because of all the noise? No. Something happened. They quarrelled. Thanks. That's all I needed to ask. Okay. <clears throat> That's interesting. How could anyone be so cruel? Yeah, we, we've done that. How could anybody be so cruel? Are you going to use that arrow? That's pretty... That's a that's a that's why? not cool, man. Why? That's a step why? too far. In the woods to the north. Let's go and have a look. Northward, Chauncey. some flowers a new level in herbalism be nice if I actually knew what I was doing wouldn't it see there's no nothing that says just because you're on a quest for vengeance you can't stop and pick some flowers now and again Deeper and deeper, for sure. Hmm. Okay. Explore the clearing in the woods. Um, okay. Am I really supposed to go further in? I thought. They went deeper and deeper, for sure. That doesn't sound good. You're going to get a bit nervous when ominous music starts, haven't you? Voices. I can hear voices. What? What bandit? What bandit is that? Apparently there is a bandit. <clears throat> Behind me.
somewhere. <laughs> what? Shit. Who's there? What are you doing there? Hey, who's there? Hey, what do you want? Well, I never. The pig turns up willingly for the slaughter. What's the matter? Oh! Ah. Here! Ah. Oh dear! He's dead. He's a goner. Okay, let's take all his gear. And then let's go and search that other dude. Wherever he is. A hoop pick. Someone in Neuhof must know more about it. I bet I know who that is. I have a funny feeling I know exactly who in Neuhof knows more about this hoof pick. Anybody else care to venture a guess? Wait, what? See, now that's not good, is it? Why does he draw the bow immediately after putting away? his sword. Oh, I see. No, the melee weapon, so that's the sword. And that's putting away the sword. Right, okay, so he drew the sword. Okay. So, I'd better go and load up my horse a bit and take this stuff back before I go and sort out that stuff. Where's he going? Okay, should probably, do I need to... Okay, I'm not bleeding. I'm still not bleeding? What the hell makes me bleed? Apparently nothing makes me bleed, because whenever I try to apply a bandage, it won't let me, it says I'm not bleeding, despite the fact that I've just lost a load of health in a sword fight. If that doesn't make you bleed, I don't know what does. But apparently it doesn't. 
drinking water. Okay. How, when it says I'm overloaded there, so how, by how much am I overloaded? Um, you are carrying too much. Okay. Uh, I've got an injured head. This injury can result in bleeding if you're not careful. I've got an injured left arm. Okay. Doesn't say anything about what to do about it, though. So I'm going to go back and put some of this stuff in the horse and then um, go and question the chap who I'm pretty sure is the owner of the lock. Pick, the hoof pick. Where is me horse? Ah, there's my horse. Yeah, yes, pebbles. Now I remember. <laughs> it's all going back to me now. Okay, so I just discovered that tight trousers improve your charisma. That's interesting. <laughs> I see. Your charisma, sir, will be greatly improved with tighter trousers. Let's go and question the chap who I suspect. is most likely the fellow responsible and holding the hoof pick I'm coming for you ginger and no it's not just because he's ginger it's because if you remember he didn't are so suspicious like has anybody seen ginger where are they all running off to Where have you been? While you were gone, we found a dead brigand in the woods. The others are probably long gone by now. Did you learn anything? No. He was already dead. Go and take a look if you want. One of my men is still standing guard, just to be sure. Where is he exactly? A bit north of Neuhoff in the woods. You can't miss him. Thank you. I'll go and take a look. Okay, I guess I go better go back and find out what happened to Ginger. <laughs> I guess I'll wrap this up in a minute. You can probably hear my little girl in the background there. Oh, who's just woken up from her nap. But we must find Ginger because we got save this game until that is actually a bit of a problem they need to work on because sometimes it's all very well saying well you can't save in life but you know sometimes it's just inconvenient and you need to save a bit 
A bit? How can you save a bit? Where is he? Where's the lad gone? In the compost heap. Has anybody seen him? Have you? Have you seen what happened to Do you know whose hoof pick this is? Gingers. He was always bragging about it. Yeah, see, I knew oh, it was yes. Gingers. I found it on one of the bandits in the woods. But he... Because of him? Because of him they murdered us? Lord in heaven! Wait, hold on. You think Ginger was responsible for the attack? He ran off! Don't you see? He was acting so strange and then he ran off! Why well, the hell would he do that? That does sound rather odd. Why would that bloke have his hoof pick? And you don't know where Ginger could have gone? Dunno. Ask Jacob. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, innocent creatures. Who the hell is Jacob? I guess we need to go find out. Uh, without going through the pond. Jacob. Getting dark. Wait a second. How could anyone be so cruel? Oh, I thought that was one of what his faces guys, but apparently not. <clears throat> this must be Jakob. Hello. Where'd you make? Another useless soldier come to ask questions. You should have fucking been here last night. Is that right? <clears throat> What's wrong with your arm? Oh, oh dear. That looks painful. That's all you gotta say about it. You useless prick. Any idea where I might find this ginger? Well, that's the thing. He packed up and left. He packed up and left. What? You don't find that strange. Look, I, I know how he looks. But ginger is a fine fellow. I, I don't believe he had anything to do with the attack. Well, I believed he had something to do with the attack even before I found out he had something to do with the attack. So he's pretty conspicuous, really. Do you know anything about this hoof pick? Yeah, it's ginger's. He had it made in Mate. Where could he have fled to? Uh, uh, I might know. But you gotta promise me one thing. When you find him, listen to what he has to say before judging. Before judging, yes. You have my word. <clears throat> well, as long as he doesn't Sometimes attack me. Sometimes the charcoal burners come to see him. He gets on well with them. I think that's where he's gone. And where is that? No idea. They've always kept to themselves, you know, charcoal burners. But the forest is full of folk like that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Anywhere. Thousands of them. Aye, except these ones won't be far. If you follow the stream from the stud farm towards Rate, you'll come across one of their camps. Only... Only what? Ginger didn't go that way, though. He always went by the big road, through the woods in the direction of Ujits. But how can I find them? There's always smoke when they work. <laughs> You'll smell them before you see them. Well, and they need to be near water. There's that too. So if I go through the woods along running water, I'll find them? Exactly. I guess that's what he's saying, yes. Okay, so we need to find the charcoal burners, but that's as good a point as any to stop what I'm doing. So... Ginger in a pickle. So, we'll, um... I missed what that 
just said there in the quest uh, thing. Okay. So. Quests, Ginger, question the charcoal burners, find Ginger the missing Neuhoff stable boy. Uh, and that's where we'll leave it for now, so we're off to find Ginger, and I'll see you next time.